Can you talk about the difference between the way the uh, Ukrainian resistance is portrayed from the way Palestinian resistance is portrayed? If there is a difference, lead in question, but yeah. Well, you know, I, uh, let's consider this for a moment, okay? $3.8 billion of our tax money, tax dollars that we pay, goes as a foreign aid package to Israel every single year. At a push of a button every January, it's transferred to Israel. $3.8 billion, the largest foreign aid package, US foreign aid package, there is, goes to a country that, by the way, doesn't need foreign aid because it's very wealthy. That money is threatening, is, is, makes it possible for Israel to threaten the lives of Isa Amro and Basin Tamimi and countless other Palestinians. That money goes to support one of the worst, one of the cruelest, one of the most racist regimes that exists today, the State of Israel, which we know, by the way, because Amnesty and Human Rights Watch and Betzalem and several other human rights organizations told us and showed us in a very, very, in very, very clear and, and well-documented reports that it is an apartheid regime. It is textbook apartheid, which is a crime against humanity. And yet, like clockwork, every January, $3.8 billion of our money is sent there and is used to do this, is used to maintain this. Every American house, every American store, every people, every person of conscience, every institution that has a conscience has to be flying the Palestinian flag every single day. We have to demand, we, because we're complicit, because it's our money, because it's our elected representatives that are, that are, that are allowing this to happen, we should be the first ones out there demanding it to stop. How many Palestinian flags has anybody here seen today? How many Ukrainian flags has anybody seen today? This is absurd. It's madness. It's madness. It's absolute madness. You know, I have a, uh, my, my older son works with um, a lot with immigration, with uh, asylum seekers, and so on. You know, the Ukrainians come in, they get, they go, they get the five star treatment. Not so much, you know, people of color. Not so much people who come from Latin America or the Middle East. You know, it's madness. It's absolute madness. And what's ma even, you know, the, the epitome of this madness is that so few of us actually speak up. Is that we don't see Palestinian flags. Is that we're not out there doing more. That's the epitome of this madness. That there's so few people who actually care and want to engage and want to know about this, uh, about this issue. We are complicit in a crime against humanity in the worst possible way. The money, the weapons, the international support, the diplomatic cover, and all we see are, you know, we see, the, we see Ukrainian flags everywhere. We don't see Palestinian flags.